November 13th, 2022. A little bit less than a month ago, I posted a before video. My Wallapini, my underground greenhouse, being out of control, it, it is now in control. Still a lot of work to do, but at least things are much better managed. So this is the after video, but there's going to be more updates. I still have quite a few things that I want to do. This video is a, a baseline for a future conversation with my viewers, but also for myself so that I can remember where things are from year to year. Remind myself of what I've done in the past. I'll be happy to talk about how I heat this thing and how I keep it going. That'll be future videos, I think. But if you have any other ideas of things that you want me to talk about, leave questions or comments and either I'll reply to them um, in text or I'll make a video for it. In that other video, I said I didn't know if the loofah vine had any gourds on it. it comes up over here. And we can see that um, if it didn't before, it does now. So in the other video, I, you will remember the um, tomatoes that covered that whole wall. You couldn't even see out that window. Cut that back quite a bit. Left a couple here still. That's due for a nice slimming as well. But... K bar. Hoorah. Basil, blood orange, pineapple, tea. Olive tree, curry, baby coffee plants, chocolate mint. So this is a part of the ground to air heat transfer system. The temperature comes in hotter and is lowered significantly. The real trick to keeping this place warm is overnight. That ivy plant is from my wedding 25 years ago. More pepper starts, because why not? Did you get the idea that I like peppers yet? Oregano, banana. Coffee plants, green pepper, Hound. I use the food dryer to, as a supplemental form of heat. I have it off right now just because it'd be too loud. The radiant system, talk about that sometime. So let's go over here and look at the source of the ground air heat transfer system goes all the way up to the top where it is the hottest. Takes that hot air, warmer air, which right now is on a cold fall day, 78 degrees. And only a foot away, 76 degrees. So you saw on the other side. Way over there. 
can't hardly see it. There it is. We'll talk about that ground air heat transfer system more some other time. So just because I think you might be interested, I'm gonna walk around the opposite direction. Dragon fruit. Did I mention the sage and the peppercorn? things are at night. Um, you see that uh, it is 55 degrees on the inside, 25 outside. That's right next to the building so it's actually colder out. And there's uh, all the lights are on now. So I'm not going to spend as much time on this segment kind of see the lights in action. If I show you right on, they're just going to blind it so that won't work. But uh, You might wonder why I bother um, having any heat at all. Well, yeah, if I didn't have any heat, um, I could get a lot of things growing in here. I just wouldn't be able to get um, coffee plants. You know, certain things need to be um, 50 degrees and up 